Good morning. Happy Tuesday to you. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. My voice is going a little bit and I'm not sure exactly why. I don't even have a cold or anything. Um, it, maybe it's because I preached on Sunday at four services. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, just every once in a while feels a little bit hoarse. Not sure what's going on. So bear with me today as I as I give you the devotion. All right, so let's see here. Let's go ahead and look at yesterday's journal. Um, I, I love this. I love this. Um, just the fact that God takes hold of your right hand and says to you, do not fear, I will help you. As I told you yesterday, this is one of my favorite verses that I refer to often because it just, thinking of God holding on to my hand is so powerful. So I found this picture of, um, of Jesus's hand holding out to a, a child uh, or a smaller hand at least. And I was able to trace that. It was super easy. One of the easiest ones that I've done. Um, I will, let me see here if I have a copy of it. I will, I will put a copy of that in the, in the, in the um, Facebook group in case you would like to do something similar. And I'll be posting the reel shortly too to show you what I did and how I made it. Okay. All right. Thank you. Go, hello. Hello. Let me know who's here. I'd love to have you to say hi and let me know that you're here. I want to make sure I'm in. Yep, there we go. Okay. All right. So let me know if you're here. Tell me in the comments if you're here. I, I love hearing whenever somebody joins me live. And if you're catching this on replay, uh, please go ahead and uh, type replay in the comments so that I know that you were here. Okay. All right. So today's devotional is... This is the 27, so it's 1 Chronicles 28, 20, and it says, David also said to Solomon, his son, be strong and courageous and do the work. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord my God is with you. He will not fail you or forsake you until all the work for the service of the temple of the Lord is finished. So Solomon was really young when he became a king. He was only 20 years old. David was forced to appoint Solomon very quickly when he realized that another one of his son, um, Adonijah, was plotting to seize the throne for himself. So this scripture is taken from the ceremony when David presented Solomon to the people as the one who, by God's choice, would succeed him as king and would build the temple. So not only was Solomon a young king, he now had this huge job in front of him to build the temple to the Lord. And his father already had all the plans for him, ready to take over and complete it. But those plans would have been mind-boggling for any contractor. It's easy to see how Solomon would have felt completely overwhelmed by it all as a young 20-year-old. So David was giving his son encouraging words and reminding him that God was with him and he would see him through the building of the temple. He had done so much work already to prepare Solomon for the takeover that he even had the priests and all the craftsmen ready to begin. David was actually quoting Joshua 1, 5 through 7, when God spoke to Joshua before he was leading the people to Israel into the promised land. So it was a very similar situation that Moses was not able to finish the job that he started because he could only take the people to the edge of the land and Joshua had to finish it. And now Solomon is giving the same encouragement from his father. How many times have you been given a task and it almost seems like it is too much to handle? I've had a few of those. <laughs> I've needed to repeat to myself, be strong and courageous, just do the work. <laughs> and those are the times when I need God to come alongside me. He needs to pull me off of, up off the ground sometime and remind me that there is work to be done and I am the one to do it. Now God is faithful and if he gave you the job, he's going to equip you with exactly what you need to do it. He's going to bring people into your lives to help you and encourage you. Whatever that task will be is going to be different for each one of us. We're not going to have the same tasks. Some are joyous and fun and others might be tedious and completely overwhelming. But the words of King Solomon, or excuse me, to King David to Solomon 
are still true today, just as they were then. Listen to God. Follow his ways. Be strong and courageous and do the work. God promises to always be with us and never leave us. So we don't need to be afraid. He's going to help us through whatever we're facing. We just need to lean into him, be strong and courageous, and do the work. That's it. All righty. Hi there. Oh, hi, Dawn. How are you? Good to see you. Let me know what you thought of the devotion today. Do you get nervous? Do you get scared when you're given a task that seems almost too much, almost too overwhelming? If you do, maybe you need to keep this scripture put on a post-it note someplace just to remind you that we need to be strong and courageous and just do the work. Thanks so much for joining me this morning. I will be here back tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. And doing great, always overwhelmed. Understand that. Understand that. Take a breath. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for joining me, and we will see you tomorrow morning. Have a blessed day.